To begin with, Mr. Ungta, we've got a query from a gentleman called Girish. Uh, his salary is about 22,000 and he invests about 2,000 in HDFC Top 200 every month through an SIP. He invests about 1,000 rupees in the Kota Gold ETF. He's got a term plan, so of course I'm going to his insurance term plan from, from for about 25 years, the about 3,200 rupees per year and build a Sun Life Vision Life Insurance for about 20,000 per year. He's got an education loan of 60,000 reaping, where he's reaping about 5,000 rupees per month and paying about 3,000 rupees of rent as well. He wants to buy a home in the next two years in Pune. He also needs advice of how he should be managing his money and he's got uh, dependence on him. So he's got his parents who live with him and they're age 57 and 45 years old age and he wants a health cover for them as well of about 2 lakh rupees. So I think we've got it all over the place. He's got a little bit of uh, in investment that he does in terms of HDFC and the Kota Gold ETF and then he's got his insurance. He wants to buy a home. Salary is about 22,000 rupees and in terms of liability things only got an uh, education loan. So what I like about uh, Girish is I think He's thought about his uh, financial life very clearly. He's doing systematic uh, investments. He's thinking about health insurance. He's thinking about uh, buying his house. Uh, I think where probably he is going wrong is that I think his major goal currently seems to be buying his house. Oh, right. And if that is going to happen in the next two years, he's got to get together this. Uh, uh, he's to get together this uh, money for the down payment. And when he has to get together money for the down payment, and I am assuming other resources are not too many, they are scarce, uh, I think putting money in equity, okay, no matter how good the fund is, uh, or even in gold, uh, I do not think is advisable. So, I think all this, or in, in investing in insurance, which is what that uh, other uh, Birla Sun Life, Vision mm. Life Insurance, it is a traditional plan with mm. cover till 100 years. I do not think any of these investments make sense given the fact that he will need this money after two years so look at a debt for, uh, for paying off the, uh, so he should look at debt. It can be it can be fixed deposit, he is anyway not paying too high a tax uh, because right. his uh, income is 22,000. So, he should definitely look at uh, debt, it could be a recurring deposit, it could be a fixed uh, deposit for this two year uh, period, okay. uh, which he can keep renewing uh, till he buys the house. So, I think that is first, should get his investments in order to prepare for the uh, down payment itself. Uh, I think he's already bought a term plan. I'm assuming that is enough uh, hmm. to uh, meet his insurance needs. He has not mentioned what the amount of the term plan is. Uh, but otherwise, if that is enough, then the real next key is the health insurance protection, which again, the good thing is he's thought about it. I think the fact that he is asking for 2 lakhs only is something that I think he is underestimating the amount of cover he needs. I think the minimum he needs is 3 lakhs for each person himself as well both his parents because when you age the chance of claim rises, rises. And, and you need enough cover. Right. So, if he just takes a family floater the cover might not be enough. So, I think he should take 3 lakhs each for both his parents as well as himself and that roughly cost him about 20, uh, 14, 16,500 or something. He can also look at taking a top up. Okay. Uh, after the deductible of 3 lakhs and that should roughly cost him 4,500. So, a total cost of 21,000, but that gives him a cover of roughly about 8 lakhs per person. Okay. okay. Uh, so, if he cannot, uh, uh, does not want to spend that much money, he can let the top up remain for a later year, but definitely 3 lakhs each at is that required. cost of about 16,500 is something that he should definitely do. Right, Mr. Rungta, I mean, I'm just going to go back to his goal because he's 27 years of age. His, his salary is 20,000 rupees per month. It's not bad, but of course, uh, he's got a bit of liability as well up here, right? He's got that education. On. Do you recommend, I mean, and he's young. Do you think it possibly makes a lot more sense to try and uh, repay that education loan, get one liability out of the way, and only once that is done, then, of course, look at acquiring a home? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, that was the other thing uh, that I was mentioning, that... Tax is not a big issue. See, typically, an education loan tends to be effective if he is paying high taxes. In his case, he is not paying high taxes. So, in which case, he better use this investment to first pay off this 60,000 rupees uh, that he that is, right, yes. uh, has the education loan and use that 5,000 EMI to do a recurring deposit. He is okay. paying a 5,000 EMI for that education loan. So, redeem your gold units, redeem your uh, right. HDFC top 200 units, 
surrender your uh, birla sun life vision whatever money comes pay off your education loan okay and invest if any balance is left invest in a fixed deposit and that 5000 rupees that you are saving recurring. put it in a recurring deposit for 2 years kirish that's the advice coming in from you couple of factors that you need to watch out for and mr rungta indicated one comes in from sheetal joshi and she says she's earning uh, per month about 20 26000 rupees her husband makes about 70000 rupees they got a couple of expenses so they've got an emi of 30265 The household expense is about forty-five thousand, so she's got surplus money for about thirty-five thousand that she's looking to invest. Uh, she's invested in LIC. She's got an SIP of about six thousand rupees uh, annually. I think, and that goes towards an equity fund, mm-hmm. and 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 approximately about ten thousand the SPI PPF that she recently started putting about four thousand, and she's also started putting four thousand two hundred in a recurring account for about forty months. She's thirty. Husband's thirty-two. Both are working for a private company. Their key goals are their children's education. She's currently got a child who's only two months of age. She's starting to plan early, which is great. His marriage, their retirement, their retirement regular income. They also look to buy a car and an additional home. How should she get started? So I think first you need to do. There may not be enough resources. We we don't know the value of each of these goals. But uh, given these circumstances, I would say. Uh, if if they were to prioritize their goals it typically uh, would be possibly be ch- child's higher education uh, retirement would definitely come top of it A- and then you could possibly have an additional home and b- uh, car or vice versa uh, both these uh, goals both the major goals that they have child's education as well as uh, their own retirement corpus at a long term goals right. i mean they are young yet Uh, their child is just two months old, so you're talking of a goal that's more than twenty years away. Uh, any allocation that you do has to be heavy in equity, and it needs to be systematic. I think that's what will give them the uh, maximum bang uh, for their buck. But first, before they start any investments, protection is a must. And for doing that, I think all this investment in insurance is something that takes away from protection. I think. they both need uh, uh, at least uh, she needs about 45 lakhs of life insurance right. and uh, her husband given the higher income needs about 125 lakhs of uh, insurance okay. uh, it's if she is investing in lic it's right. unlikely that that those policies have these kind of covers so one review whether those policies are good whether she should insurance. continue but this cover is necessary normally we advise online uh, term plans in their case they should also look at uh, critical illness and that's not so easily available uh, okay. on, uh, so no online plan is offering a critical, critical illness, illness so maybe in their case you could look at a policy like an sbi uh, life smart shield policy which combines so the insurance element is a little expensive as compared to an online plan but the add on benefit that you get of the critical illness makes it a good plan to have so that's right. something that they should uh look at and that will cost about 11000 for her and roughly about 26000 for her husband so that's roughly 37000 rupees in a year so that's roughly 3000 to 3200 per month is the cost of life insurance as well as critical illness right. they also need to look at health insurance again 3 lakhs individual okay even for the child we advise an individual policy uh simply because uh, in a floater policy the child will fall out of the policy when uh, he becomes 21 and if he is meanwhile contracted any illnesses that continuity will not be available uh, to him so we advise individual policies 3 lakhs each they are young yet and they can look at a 5 lakh top up that will typically cost them today because they are so young it will not cost them more than about 22 Thousand rupees, both put together. Right. So I mean that's another two thousand. So total insurance cost is roughly about five thousand two hundred or five thousand three hundred. Balance monies, I think, is something that they should look at for their goals. Uh, for their goals, clearly they need to accumulate roughly about six and a half crores. Okay. That's what we can make out uh, from what they have said, and it's it's twenty eight years away. So they have yeah. plenty of time. time right? you know, they should allow their money to go in a. high growth area and a monthly investment of 15000 with 90% equity okay and say 10%, 10% in ppf something like a ppf would be uh, excellent uh, so i think that's something that we would advise 
the 6000 rupees that she is already putting in uh, in uh, this uh, in the sips that they can consider for the child's uh, education okay. purpose for marriage etc if more money is available again you can put that uh, becomes a long term goal anyways that can, and you can put their 10% in gold okay. since that gold can right, be used, used. Right. so i mean roughly we would advise say 2600 rupees right. 90% in a long term uh, diversified equity fund large cap fund and 10% in a gold fund.